a North Carolina straight bourbon whiskey that won gold in the Ascot Awards. All right, guys, so Cook's Mill is a straight bourbon whiskey that is inspired by the proud tradition of farming and distilling in the hills of North Carolina. Um, this is uh, distilled and bottled by Queen Spirits out of Statesville, North Carolina. The whiskey is aged for a minimum of two years, only using the finest of North Carolina corn. Uh, this one comes in at 88 proof. And this one actually won a gold medal in the Ascot Awards. I personally gave it a gold, and uh, I wound up winning an overall gold medal in the uh, in the Ascot Awards. Um, let's get in the nose. Further away from the glass, a little bit of that grain starts to appear there, but it's a, a really nice kind of honey note that um, that kind of takes kind of takes that over. Then again, further into the glass, you start to get some of that like that buttery stone fruit, maybe a little bit of um, maybe a little bit of peach in there, slight maybe hint of like some strawberry, maybe a little bit of apricot in there as well. Really nice mixture of, uh, of fruits. I do like the the buttery kind of um, concept to that as it goes further in. It almost, almost reminds you of like a uh, uh, the butteriness of like a mellow corn kind of. But then there's that kind of stone fruit that 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 offsets that there. So it's like that peach and uh, maybe again like a little bit of apricot and then some strawberry in there as well. Really nice nose though, guys. Let's get in the palate. Cheers. So one thing I noticed about this, and I went back and, and looked at my tasting notes, one thing that I, I remember from this, with it only being 88 proof, obviously it doesn't blow you away with, with the proof, but uh, what makes up for it is the oiliness that it provided uh, for me on the palate. It does come off very oily. It coats the coats the cheeks and the soft palate um, very well. So on the front of the palate, you do get like, I get a slight hint of like some white pepper there as well as some of that honey. Middle of the palate, it starts to open up again to a lot of those, um, a, a lot of fruits. It's like a, um, almost like one of those little um, uh, fruit cocktail cups uh, that, that you get. It's just a lot of, a lot of different um, fruits kind of evolving there on, on the middle of the palate. But then also, the, I, I feel like there's a, a bit of spiciness to it. And I'm not, again, I'm not 100% sure of what the mash bill is on this one. Um, you know, if, there's, if there is a little bit of rye influence to it, maybe that's where some of that spiciness is kind of coming from across the middle of the palate. And as it moves to the back, I do pick up start. I start to pick up more of that apricot there um, on the on the back of the palate and into the finish. It's a short to medium finish, maybe more along the the shorter side on that first sip. But it's it's really good. Again, it, uh, I, I think it, it coats the it coats the palate very well. There's a lot of oiliness to this one, um, especially at that uh, that 88 proof mark. Let's get a second sip, guys. So there more of that kind of butteriness starts to kind of come through and it's more of like that um more of that flavor again it still leaves a really nice kind of um oily coating across the palate mainly on the cheeks there and then the soft palate but again front of the palate there's like again some kind of like nice vanillas and some nice honey and then across the middle of the palate is really kind of where like those the the fruits uh just still kind of really maintain across the middle of the palate maybe a little bit of peach like i said maybe some strawberry there as I was getting on the nose, it's it's very very similar to what's on the palate, and then there's that that slight hint of like some spiciness, almost maybe like a little little bit of peppery kind of spiciness. Obviously, it's not the proof being 88 proof, but then back of the palate, that second sip starts to linger on a little bit more. Um, I feel like some of that pepper, a little bit of that pepper, starts to kind of um, you know follow through into the into the finish there. But yeah, the the oiliness again, I think that really makes up. The palate on this one, you know, it's it's you know, with it being low proof, um, I think one of the things that kind of surprised me before on this was how uh, how much oiliness this did offer across the palate. And I I really really like that. I like something that kind of lingers around the palate for a while, it takes you a, a while to kind of sip it. It's really good though. I, I love I love that combination that that kind of light light kind of honey, and then you know, obviously your traditional kind of bourbon notes, your caramels and your vanillas are always going to be there. Uh, but then you know, going into that that stone, you know, a lot of that stone fruits and and some of those summer fruits there sitting across the palate, and then into the finish again, it almost it almost seems like there's a good chunk of rye in there because there's that spiciness that kind of you know flows through into the finish. But it's a very, very easy sipping whiskey. Again, the oiliness allows it to, to kind of linger around the palate for a little while. But again, just really, 
Really, really easy, uh, easy sipping whiskey here, guys. Let's get a last sip. Cheers. And I mean, something too that is that is so surprising to me, I think, on this one is the fact that you know the whiskeys are aged for a minimum of two years, but like you you can there's just there's so much flavor that this whiskey provides being as young as it is. So again, a lot of those caramels and vanillas there uh, up on the up on the front of the palate. It's a little bit of like some light honey. And then again, as it goes to the middle of the palate, it's like completely dominated right now by some of those like um, those pitted fruit, some of those summer fruits. Again, there's like some strawberry, some peach, some apricot there. Again, that's like really just sitting on the um, the back of the palate. And then again, not sure of the mash bill, but I do get like this little bit of spiciness, maybe like a, a peppery kind of uh, spice that kind of sits there with uh, some of the apricot. And then as it as it kind of pulls down, and right now, you know, first sip was kind of a, a short finish, but now it's it's kind of you know transferred into that that medium finish. You know, the more I sip this, I feel like that oiliness has just continued to kind of linger around the palate, and it's just slowly kind of you know, pulling those flavors down into that finish. So I'd say it's a, again, short to medium finish, but now a little bit more on that medium side. Um, but again, just a very, very easy sipping whiskey that, uh, again, you know, offers that oiliness, um, and allows those flavors to kind of linger on. But again, a uh, hell of a job here by Cook's Mill. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. I want to give a big shout out to the team over at Cook's Mill for supplying me with this bottle here to review on the channel. Guys, again, you know, with this thing being uh, 88 proof, um, don't, you know, don't let that, you know, sway your decision. This offers a ton of flavors at that 88 proof mark. It is a very easy sipping whiskey. It offers a ton of uh, viscosity, oiliness, and mouthfeel. Um, Again, guys, Cook's Mill uh, won a gold medal in the Ascot Awards. I personally uh, gave it a gold medal as well. I think it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic whiskey at 88 proof. And again, offers a, uh, a, a ton of explosion of flavors um, on the palate there, guys. So look, if you're looking for more reviews like this, hit that subscribe button, bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. Till next time, guys. Stay dusty.